മാഡം നമുക്ക് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്യാം അൻസാർജി സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്യാട്ടോ ഹലോ മാഡം ഒരു ജസ്റ്റ് 1 മിനിറ്റ് വെയിറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്തോളൂ ജസ്റ്റ് ഒരു 1 മിനിറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ഞാൻ ഇപ്പോൾ ഫേസ്ബുക്ക് ലൈവ് ആവോ ശരി ശരി ഓക്കെ welcome viewers to this facebook live session of igno regional center kochi uh, myself dr sindhu p nayar deputy director regional center kochi let me first tell you about the series of facebook live sessions the regional center has been organizing live sessions on various programs uh, in uh, in view of the ongoing july 2021 admissions cycle and today we are providing this session focusing on the tourism industry related educational programs from igna so welcome viewers and thank you for joining in in this live session uh, as i move on to my presentation i would like to tell you that uh, i would be talking about uh, three broad areas one is about this university because primarily before i get into the programs specifically highlighting the tourism industry related education programs that igno offers which you can take benefit of i will provide a brief introduction or an overview about this university that is indira gandhi national open university and about this regional center kochi and then i would move on to providing some specific information about the various programs that are in the area of tourism which would be of benefit for our of viewers so let me begin now uh, many of you would be aware about igno that is indira gandhi national open university but uh, when somebody is going to enroll in this university you are looking at admission related programs it is of paramount importance to know about this university and therefore 
I will be speaking in brief about IGNO for the benefit of our viewers. IGNO is, uh, stands for Indira Gandhi National Open University. It's a central university. And this has been established, university has been established by an act of parliament in the year 1985. And this is an open university, as you can uh, understand. This university, IGNO, had been established with clear objectives as far as the higher education in the country is concerned. And therefore, there are stated objectives which I have listed here. One primary objective of establishing Indira Gandhi National Open University is to democratize higher education. By that, it means providing an opportunity for higher education. by bringing it to the doorsteps of the learners. Yeah. That is the spirit of open and distant education. And therefore, IGNO provides programs primarily with this objective in mind so that uh, anybody who desires to take admission can enroll in these programs. And as I move on, you understand by what we mean by bringing education to the doorsteps of the learners. The other objective is to provide access to high-quality education to all who seek it. That is irrespective of barriers such as the age, region, religion, and gender. It is for the or with the objective of providing high uh, access to high quality education to all who desire it. IGNO provides a number of need-based academic programs. So I would like to highlight this here because even today the session that I'm going to focus on is also very much in line with this. That is providing need-based academic programs. And for all the IGNO programs which have been developed and is on offer, have some particular need that is being addressed by these academic programs. And uh, finally, it is also with the objective of promotion and development of distance education in the country. So these are the objectives with which this mega university has been established. Now for the interest of our viewers, uh, let me also share some of the important milestones of this university. IGNO has come to come to be the largest open university in the world in terms of uh, the enrollment and other aspects. It has moved to be one of the largest universities, open university in the world. IGNO has been awarded the recognition uh, by the uh, Center of Excellence in Business Education as Center of Excellence in Business Education by the Commonwealth of Learning for uh, its activities. An award of excellence for distance education materials has also been awarded by Commonwealth of Learning. Now, this uh, is of importance because when you're looking at open and distance education, the distance education materials have a lot of importance. And therefore, uh, for the awareness of our viewers, our potential learners who are seeking or looking at uh, taking admission in IGNO programs, I think this is a very valuable information that I would like to share with you all. Apart from this, IGNO has a 24-hour educational channel, the Gyan Darshan, and there are regular educational broadcasts with a facility for live interaction. This again is important because in open and distance education, media has a great component to play, and IGNO also has this multimedia approach. And with its own educational channels, IGNO is offering or extending teaching learning activities through these media as well. In terms of uh, enrollment, we just we're talking about we're talking about IGNO emerging as the largest university in the world, and it says that the enrollment has reached three million. UNESCO had declared IGNO as the largest institution of higher learning in the world in the year 2010, and with the objective of democratizing higher education, bringing it to the doorsteps of learners, etc. It, IGNO has the largest network of learner support system in the country and even uh, outside the country in some locations. I'm also happy to inform you that IGNO is one of the rare, has a rare distinction also of being the first open university in the country, which has been accredited with the highest A++ grade by the NAC. So this is uh, in brief about uh, this uh, university that is Indira Gandhi National Open University established by an act of parliament and this is a central university with having its uh, reach across the length and breadth of the country. Now uh, coming more into the academic programs which would be of interest for our viewers, 
is what are the academic programs that IGNO is offering. IGNO offers a number of academic programs in various disciplines through its various schools of studies and at various levels. When I say uh, various levels, what I mean is that IGNO's academic programs range from a certificate level program, which usually is of a six months minimum duration, that is a certificate level program, to the master's level and even uh, beyond also we have some programs. So uh, basically IGNO's academic programs are you know, on a wide array of disciplines and these are through the 21 schools of studies, which is at the IGNO headquarters, in New Delhi. Now, uh, in each slot that we are taking for the live session, we are taking one particular school of study. So here I would like to mention that today we are focusing on the School of Tourism and Hospitality Management, one of the uh, schools of the 21 schools that I mentioned, and we will be focusing on those programs which are being offered by the school in this session. So likewise, there are other schools of studies such as School of Computer and Information Sciences, Management Studies, uh, Humanities, Social Work, etc., which uh, cater to the requirements or the educational requirements in various disciplines or streams. Now, if you look at the programs that IGNO is offering, uh, IGNO, as I mentioned earlier, was providing need-based academic programs. So, and if you look at any program of IGNO, it is towards definite uh, towards fulfilling some learner needs. Now, when we say learner needs, this could be a gamut of needs, which could be one of the primary need of a learner, it could be a combination of these needs. But it is definitely addressing one of the needs of the learner. And that is why a large number of uh, learners are enrolling in this mega university. One, of course, the learner need would be the need for certification. Being open and distance education, being a learner-centric system, it provides the flexibility and the freedom for the learners to pursue a program as per their choice, as per their pace, etc. And many times at a particular point in their in our career, we feel that there is a need for certification where you really cannot go back and do a regular a conventional mode of program. But yes, there is a strong felt need for a certification which should help us to go further in our career. So therefore, uh, certification is one of the learner needs that IGNO is catering to. Uh, many of the academic programs of IGNO are towards improvement of skills of the learners. The learners' uh, skills are improved in various areas. So many times, uh, we are, once we get into a particular uh, period of our, our career or otherwise, we're not able to go back and do it in a, in a regular mode. But here is an option to do it through open and distance education so that there is vertical progression, there is competency enhancement uh, by way of improving our skills in a particular area. Acquisition of professional qualifications. Number of IGNO programs are directed are, are towards addressing the learner's need for acquisition of professional qualifications in a particular stream, which would be of use, use for them. Uh, IGNO's programs are also towards addressing the requirement of the learners for continuing education. As we all know, learning is a lifelong process and whatever profession or otherwise we are learning is has to be ongoing. So it provides a platform for those who have a desire for continuing education and also importantly for the professional development at the workplace because uh, you would agree that there is a need to constantly update our knowledge and skills and, uh, on the professional uh, front uh, so that we are able to move ahead on our workplace. So many of the programs IGNO offers are towards professional development at the workplace. Self-enrichment, yes. Uh, is also one particular uh, aspect as far as IGNO programs are concerned. And diversification, updating of knowledge of the learners through the programs that they are pursuing uh, with, with IGNO. And of course, empowerment uh, by way of enrolling and successfully completing the IGNO programs. So therefore, there is specific needs or spec uh, specific requirements that are met by uh, the programs that IGNO is offering. Now, having said broadly about this university and also about the, the rationale or the need in the, uh, through which, for which IGNO programs are offered, let me just come, uh, come to the Regional Center Cochin. Uh, in fact, we are offering uh, the session from the Regional Center Cochin. And uh, 
A brief about Regional Centre Cochin is that we are providing open and distance education in the region under its jurisdiction. jurisdiction. By jurisdiction, it refers to the six districts of Kerala, uh, namely Ernakulam, Trishur, Alakkad, Kottayam, Idiki, Alapura, and the Union Territory of Lakshadweep. So that is the jurisdiction uh, to which uh, Igno Regional Center is catering to, and through its uh, jurisdiction, offer it's offering the open and distance education programs through its learner support centers in this area. In terms of the programs that are offered, the Igno programs under Regional Center Cochin are at the certificate level, a diploma, postgraduate diploma, bachelor's, and master's level programs. So this is what I was just mentioning. Now focusing on the ongoing July 2021 20, session, because this particular live session is specifically to uh, bring it to the attention of our viewers that our current admissions are going on for July 2021. 20, and the programs on offer include programs at all these levels, certificate, diploma, postgraduate diploma, degree, and the postgraduate degree program. So let me move uh, for, uh, for focus on the particular uh, area of programs or those programs under this broad area that is tourism industry related education programs from IGNO. Uh, because IGNO has a large number of programs across diverse streams, diverse disciplines and at various levels, it would be useful for our viewers if we focus on a particular area. And tourism is what we have uh, taken for this particular uh, session. Now, if you look at tourism, you all would agree that tourism specifically is one of the high enrollment uh, generation potential. Basically, it has high enrollment, uh, high employment, I'm sorry, high employment uh, generation potential in a country like India, because we, we all know how, how, uh, ignores, uh, how India stands as far as the potential for tourism is concerned. And which means that there is scope for uh, tourism in a country like India, or in other words, there is scope for providing gainful employment to large number of people who would like to get employed in this sector. This again drives home the fact that there is a need for competent workforce in the tourism industry. For tourism and hospitality, they, there is a quite a big need, or in fact, there is a big uh, requirement of skilled manpower or competent manpower in this uh, particular sector and uh, IGNO programs I, uh, I would say is that would definitely be useful for those kind of people who are aspiring to take up a career in tourism industry or who are already in this uh, sector and would like to uh, upgrade their knowledge and skills and move ahead further in their uh, career so uh, tourism is very important and let me also uh, highlight the importance of tourism uh, because we are hosting it from Regional Centre Cochin and in the state of Kerala, we know tourism again, uh, often Kerala is referred to as a God's own country. Uh, apart from the, of course, the pandemic, otherwise we know that um, Kerala as a state has also attracted large number of tourists. And in this respect, I think the potential for people to get uh, employed or even take up self-employment in this sector is quite um, considerable. And in this respect, I think uh, our viewers, our potential learners, could definitely look into the various programs that IGNO is offering so that uh, they can make the best use of it by having uh, taking up an employment or some kind of uh, service in the tourism industry. So definitely it is very relevant uh, for uh, people in this area, part of the country where tourism has its, its own significance. And uh, once they get into a career in tourism, often we do not go back and do uh, some kind of an academic call, uh, requirements or programs, but often it helps us to enhance our competency while working in the tourism sector. So in, the, in, the, in that respect, I would like to place various programs that IGNO is offering for the benefit of our viewers. And again, as I mentioned, since it is open and distance education, it provides the flexibility for learners to pursue it along with their other activities, because it is not a regular kind of a program. Program It is distance education, or open and distance education. And they have this kind of uh, fl flexibility in built that they can concurrently pursue it along with the other kind of employment or whatever they are pursuing. 
So having given this importance of tourism industry related education programs of IGNU, especially for a regional center like Cochin there in the state of Kerala, let me now move on to uh, tell you about each of these programs which we are having on offer under the tourism sector. The first is the Certificate in Tourism Studies or the CTS program. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, IGNO provides a number of uh, certificate level programs which are short, relatively short in terms of being uh, of six months duration in the minimum time. So in the tourism studies also, IGNO is offering a certificate program and this stipulates the eligibility requirement as 10 plus 2 pass or its equivalent as the entry level requirement which means that anybody who has finished their schooling her higher uh, secondary see higher secondary school schooling they are able to take up this particular uh, certificate program and this uh, is of minimum duration six months and you can as you can see on the screens uh, there is a maximum duration indicated which is uh, about having the flexibility for the learners. So when we say six months is a minimum duration, there's a maximum duration of two years within which a learner who join enrolls in IGNO program can complete all the requirements of the program within a maximum duration of two years. This again is important because uh, we know learners who join in IGNO, who enroll in IGNO programs are into various activities and therefore this has great importance the convenience for them to pursue their program within the stipulated duration. And the fee structure also is, is indicated here for this uh, program that is CTS. Now let me move to the next level of program. Uh, there is a diploma program being offered in, in tourism. So you, you can now uh, notice that there is a certificate level program which is of a uh, short term six month duration. And basically the certificate level program uh, is providing some basic training, I would say, in organizing tourism services. And um, for those who are looking at opening some career opportunities in that area on a very uh, foundation level, some kind of input, inputs are provided as far as certificate program is concerned. Now, as we move on to the diploma level program, which is again 10 plus 2 or its equivalent, this is of a one year minimum duration diploma program. And this program uh, provides much little more inputs to the uh, learners uh, as it is a diploma level program. And this provides them basic training in organizing tourism services and their openings and career opportunities. In fact, those who work in the tourism sector, they would be taking it up uh, because they have some potential in the area where they are residing or otherwise for tourism. But many times the, the formal academic inputs once provided would help them to enhance their uh, approach to or the perspective to the way that they are dealing with their uh, tourism service. So in the diploma program, there is basics about tourism, tourism development, management and tourism, etc. Now, apart from this certificate and diploma, there is the bachelor's uh, level program. It's the Bachelor of Arts in Tourism Studies or the uh, BTS program. That is for those who want to take up a very uh, serious kind of a career in uh, tourism industry, they are found to pursue this graduation program that is a BTS. And this program basically provides a lot of inputs. It's a three year program, graduation minimum three years and a maximum of six years. So this provides inputs on various areas, various areas of tourism. Uh, apart from the basic inputs of the Indian culture, ecology, environment and tourism, then uh, about the Indian culture, uh, tourism marketing, tourism marketing um, in tourism, management in tourism, human resource development, etc. It is a full-fledged graduation program. It is a, a tourism level program. Apart from the bachelor's level, there is an upgradation or other a master's level program in tourism, which is the master of tourism and travel management. So we can see that at various levels, depending on the requirement of the learner, those who want to pursue a short term certificate program to a full fledged master's program, uh, it is on offer. And uh, the eligibility, if you look at the master's program, it is specific. In terms of uh, two uh, kind of uh, categories are mentioned as far as the entry to this program is concerned. Uh, that is those who have some kind of uh, uh, formal, uh, already they have some kind of inputs or qualification in the tourism sector. 
and those who are graduates or bachelors from any discipline. So it is kept open to both category of uh, graduates, uh, I should say. And for those from the tourism sector, those who have done their BTS, suppose somebody has done their BTS from IGNO itself, they can go ahead and do their master's program. Then there is a, or those who have done a BA tourism or a BSc hospitality and hotel administration, that's also an allied area. And, and, those, who have, and those who have done bachelor's in hotel management uh, approved by the AICT and those who have done their graduation in any field, but along with the diploma in tourism, they have direct uh, entry to this master's level program. And in case of uh, graduates in other fields, in, in any other discipline, but they're keen to do a master's, they, they can pursue it, but they have to do some uh, additional courses or tourism foundation courses uh, during the period of study in the master's program. So that is about the uh, two year master's uh, of tourism and travel management. And this also uh, is a very full-fledged program, uh, two-year duration, providing all aspects, including a dissertation in the second year, by way of which the learner gets the required inputs and uh, get qualified in this area so that they can move ahead with some uh, kind of uh, job or maybe upward progression in their career. Now, let, let me just uh, come to the next process that is about the July 2021 uh, admission session. So we have just highlighted only the programs in the area of tourism, that is from the certificate level to the master's level. Uh, there are many other programs also which is available on the IGNO website. Uh, but let me tell you how do how can one go in and seek admission? How do how how can one apply for IGNO admissions? So it is uh, the IGNO website is www.igno.ac.in. That is the IGNO website, and the entire admission process is online. And the uh, the link for the admission, as you can see on the screens, it has been uh, indicated. You'll have to go into the particular uh, link provided here. That is ignoadmission.summer.edu.in. And you can enroll for IGNO program uh, as per your choice. And there is also one information I would like to share that there is a facility for fee exemption uh, claimed by the SEST students uh, as per the listed programs in the IGNO website. That facility can be availed by uh, this kind of group of uh, people. Now, if you go to the IGNO website, that is ignoadmission.summer.edu.in, that's a particular link in the IGNO website. This is how the screenshot would look for you. Uh, here you can see the last dates for admission would be displayed, and the entire process uh, has been listed. Uh, 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 I heard now I heard him. Now I now I heard him, sir. Very good to know.
മാഡം ഡി ടി എസ് വരെ ഓക്കെ ആയിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഡി ടി എസ് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് ഒന്ന് റീസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യണം കേട്ടോ ഡി ടി എസ് കഴിഞ്ഞു സ്ലൈഡ് ബാക്കിലേക്ക് എടുത്ത് ഡി ടി എസിൽ വെക്കുമോ മാഡം അവിടെ നിന്ന് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്യാം ആ ഓക്കെ മാഡം മ്യൂട്ടഡ് ആണ് മ്യൂട്ടഡ് ആണ് മാഡം സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്യാം ഒരു മിനിറ്റ് ഡി ടി എസിന്റെ സ്ലൈഡിൽ ഡി ടി എസ് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞതല്ലേ ആ ഡി ടി എസ് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞതാണ് ഇനി അടുത്ത സ്ലൈഡിലോട്ട് ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് പോവാം അല്ലേ ഓക്കെ അതെ മാഡം ശരി ഓക്കെ now that was about the diploma in tourism studies the dts program now moving on to the next program that is bachelor of arts in tourism studies that's a bts program and that is the full fledged bachelor's degree program which is of a three year duration uh, for those after the uh, we find a good number of learners after their 12th standard they those who are keen to take up a career in tourism industry Uh, are seen to pursue this bachelor's degree program which is of a 3 years uh, duration and uh, basically this covers the various areas in tourism look at the uh, in terms of the program structure it covers not only the foundation level uh, uh, course in tourism it also provides inputs on tourism uh, development uh, basics of uh, event management um, indian culture ecology environment and tourism and uh, india the culture indian culture human resource development tourism marketing etc so therefore it's a, it's a full fledged uh, through graduation program which is of benefit for those who would like to take up uh, a, a stream or, or a career in tourism area that is about the bachelor of arts in tourism studies now uh, coming to the masters level program igno is offering the master of tourism and travel management or the mtt so this program being at the masters level uh, the eligibility is provided in terms of two category of uh, in, uh, of eligibility requirements are, are uh, mentioned one is for those who are already done their graduation in the tourism sector a, in tourism area and they want to go for a masters so therefore students who have maybe done their bts program from igno they can take admission for the masters uh, the mtt m program apart from that ba uh, graduates in their ba in tourism bsc hospitality and hotel administration or hotel management approved by the aic and these are all allied areas so these uh, graduates who are in these disciplines and those graduates who have done uh, of any other field as well but they have done some diploma in tourism uh, they are eligible recognized by the university system or the aic they are they are eligible for uh, admission to the mttm program so if we are, if there are graduates from various other streams but are very keen to take up a masters maybe they want to go for a shift in career to tourism or maybe something like that those kind of people also can take admission to the masters program but for this kind of uh, category of uh, students they have to pass the additional tourism foundation courses because the primary tourism foundation courses which otherwise the graduate in tourism pursues even in igno that is foundation courses are there so they have to additionally do this tourism foundation so basically any graduate who is interested in this uh, program can seek admission for the masters level program and this is a minimum two year program with the, with the flexibility uh, for the learners to to avail up to a maximum duration of uh, four years so this uh, masters level program is also a full fledged uh, program covering all dimensions uh, all areas of tourism uh including the uh, management uh, functions human resource planning managing personnel in tourism uh, information management systems marketing tourism planning and development op tourism operations etc including a dissertation which the uh, 
student has to pursue. So that is a full-fledged master's degree program in tourism. Now, uh, having said about these programs in, in, in the area of tourism, how can one apply for, these, uh, for, for admission to these programs? So what you have to do is you have to visit the IGNO website, which is www.igno.ac.in and apply for the online admission which is uh, the link as, as is provided here. It is ignoadmission.summer.edu.in. So once you go into this particular link, the instructions are provided henceforth for you to proceed with your admission. Let me also mention that there is a facility for fee exemption claim for SCST uh, applicants for the prescribed uh, programs as, per, as is listed in the IGNO website. They can avail of this facility extended by the university. Now, once you visit the IGNO website and you go specifically into the link that is ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in, this is how the screenshot, there is a screenshot here. This is how it should be. So here, as you can see, it is about the July 2021 admission. The admission portal is visible here. We have to go in for a new registration and the instructions to fill in the application is also clearly listed out there once you register with your username then you can go ahead with the, with the process of filling in your application uh, uploading your uh, documents which is in proof of education qualifications and also regarding the fee payment the entire process is online and step by step by step this process can be done at any stage once the process is over the uh, the applicant is intimated by way of uh, as an email in the email id which the student provides or the applicant provides at the time of registration so the entire process is online and students can uh, or applicants can do it from their own place uh, by clicking in they can choose for the regional center so those who are under this regional center in in the area that i was mentioning they can uh, take admission for these tourism programs under the regional center coaching that with the regional center code of one four and other details and uh, and uh, instructions are listed right in the online portal. So just to summarize the programs of tourism and hospitality service management, the broad area uh, programs that are offered as a certificate level tourism studies, CTS program, diploma, one year diploma program in tourism studies, the bachelor's level program, Bachelor of Arts Tourism Studies, BTS, and the Master of Tourism and Travel Management, or the MTTM program, which is on offer by the Regional Center, Cochin. So let me also share with you this uh, vital information, that is the Regional Center website, because many of the information Rigno is providing, Regional Center, Cochin is providing, is being uploaded in the Regional Center website. That is rccochin.igno.ac.in, regional center, Facebook. That is also there. Students and applicants can, can follow the regional center Facebook's account. And there is a Twitter, which is also you can uh, listed here. And apart from that, I would like to mention that applicants, while applying for IGNO admissions, they have any queries or they find, face any any problem at any stage they are free to write to us email to us at rccochin at igno.ac.in once again i would like to highlight the website of the university which is uh, www.ignou.ac.in and the link for online admission is also indicated here so Having gone through this, if, uh, if you're keen to take up some programs in, in uh, the Tigno Regional Center Cochin is offering, please visit this website and, and you can further proceed with your admission process. So thank you viewers for listening to our uh, Facebook live session. We hope that this session was useful for you in terms of providing some information on the programs that Regional Center Cochin is offering in the area, area of tourism uh, studies. Thank you very much. And if you have any queries on this session, you may please place it in the chat mode. Thank you very much.